Hey guys, it's Jana, and it is officially Christmas time. Thanksgiving is over. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday with family and food. Um, but now we get to move on to Christmas. So I thought it would be super fun to go through all of my Christmas boxes with you and show you the things that we have to decorate our home for Christmas. And if I can find any of them online, I will link them down below so you can get one too. And uh, I just wanted to tell you what they mean to me and our family. If there is any significance, some things are just cute and some things actually are like hand downs from family and stuff like that. So I hope this inspires your Christmas spirit. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Let's dive in these boxes. This is our Santa, but we call him Psycho Santa because my mother-in-law got this for us many years ago before we were even married and he's supposed to talk and sing and do all this stuff but she bought him broken like off the floor at the store and he just never worked until sometime during the summer it was like june or july it was the middle of the night and we just start hearing this voice and we pretty much freaked out as you can only imagine um but yeah this weird voice we never heard was singing Christmas carols and we had to hunt it down in the middle of the night and it totally freaked us out. So that is why this is Psycho Santa. We have an elf on the shelf. Our elf is named Funny Fred. So we got him many years ago. He's hanging out in the dining room. Let me know if you have an elf on the shelf and what his or her name is. This bear is handmade by one of my mom's friends. Um, back when we lived in Japan, she made these bears. So he has been officially the Christmas bear since I was little. So he's super cute. I got this pillow last year at Kohl's. I love it. How cute is that? So simple. We have a lot of these little stuffies that sing. And they're very annoying and loud, but uh, the kids love them, of course. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. I have these hand towels that I put in the kitchen and in the bathroom with the little snowmans on them. Very cute. Uh, my Aunt Sonia got us those many, many years ago. We have this Santa, he is super cool. My mother-in-law gave him to us. He's just so fancy. This is our advent calendar. I just put Hershey Kisses in the boxes, so every day, starting on the first, the kids will get a little Hershey Kiss. This is another advent calendar. You just swirl his little nose all the way around on whatever date it is. I have these Christmas ornament balls here. They're just the plastic ones. I got them at the dollar store. Um, I think the Dollar Tree. And I just put them in the hurricanes on the counter. And then I have fancy pine cones that I also put in there. And some jingle bells. These are really neat. They're like quilted little ornament balls. So I have a whole bag of them here that I just put in the hurricane in the bathroom. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, the reflection. How do I get rid of the reflection? Seeing Santa. So we have all the different years of the picture underneath each year. So this was last year. So cute. We have a lot of serving trays because I love to entertain. So you'll see a lot of serving trays. I think um, my mother-in-law got us these or this one. This is amazing. So my grandmother made all of us grandkids our own stockings. So she made this. It is so cute. So I've had this since I was little. I don't use it anymore because we have a family of ones that match. Um, but I have to keep it forever because she made it and she's no longer with us. So I just love that one so much. New box, service trays. So we have this one. I have a big one that matches this also. 
which is kind of bizarre. I don't even know where this one came from. I had it for years and then I'll get around to finding the bigger one. But the bigger one, actually, my mom had it and she didn't know I had this. And she was selling it at a yard sale we were having, so I scooped it up. I was like, hey, that matches what I already have. Service tray, super cute, little Santa head. This is our nativity scene. I love it. I got it at Kohl's. It's a St. Nicholas Square, so Kohl's carries all that. So I got this at Kohl's like a few years ago. I always wanted, um, what are those called? The Willow Tree nativity scene, but Lord, that's expensive. So this was a good compromise, I think. Very cute. This was my grandmother's um, on my mom's side. It is a music box and it lights up. And it actually, you put water in it. I know, how bizarre is that? You put water in it and it all fountains through. It's pretty cool. When my grandma passed, I got all the music boxes because when I was little, I would collect music boxes because I always thought they were so neat and uh, I just would listen to them all the time. Oh, this is a Jim Shore. I actually have a lot of Jim Shore uh, Rudolph stuff. My mother-in-law gets it for me. I love Rudolph and I love Jim Shore. So she gets me the figurines whenever she sees them. Look at that. Oh, just focus. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? This, I love this. It's one of those big light up trees. I love the ceramic trees. We had them growing up. I still have an original. I got this one at Cracker Barrel a few Christmases ago. Uh oh, that one broke off. But I just, I love these. They're just so um, nostalgic. I've seen them in the stores now, but I still have my original right here. Hold please. See, got my original still. And here's the little stand with the light. Let's see. It's like opening presents, right? You forget what you have and you haven't seen it for a year. It's always fun. These are little precious moment angels. My grandmother on my mother's side, she collected precious moments. So I got a few of her things when she passed. <laughs> This is really cute. It's a music box, of course, and a snow globe. So this goes in Quinny's room because he just loved Mickey when he was little. This is an angel that my mom gave me. She's just really pretty. She, my mom actually has, her tree is fully decorated with just angels. So those are the only things that she puts on her tree are angels. It's actually really, really pretty. And here is another angel. So this is a Jim Shore also. You can always tell by like the quilted areas on Jim Shore's creations. This one's really pretty because it has the nativity scene in there. Can you see that? So pretty. This, <laughs> this is the stump from the Christmas tree. We always get a live tree. Um, it just, it just adds a little something. It's just like an experience that you take the kids out, they pick out the tree, and uh, you know, obviously there's some maintenance and stuff, but I've actually found a foolproof way to keep your tree alive. Foolproof. You don't need all that stuff they sell you at the tree store. You just need hot, hot, hot water. When the tree is cut, it creates sap, which is like a scab for the tree, right? To help it heal. Well, if there's sap on the trunk, then it's not going to get any water, right? Because it has this scab on it. When you put the hot, pretty, actually really hot, like I put it in the microwave. So it's not boiling, but it's really, really hot. I, <laughs> there's Roxy back there. You excited for Christmas, Roxy? Yeah. Um, so as long as you put your hot water in when you are watering your tree, it'll, 
melt the sap off of the trunk and let it absorb. So, so far, so good. That has always worked, so we have not gone into the artificial trees yet. So this is a music box. This is Emma's, so of course it has Miss Elsa and Anna in there. I almost forgot her name. <laughs> so this goes in her room. Oh, and this, I'll get that out later, but it's all in pieces. So this is just um, the stand for our stockings. Okay, there goes that box. All right, another box. All right, looks like we got some books. We got a bunch of Christmas books. Oh, there's a Halloween book. You don't belong in there. Must have found that after Halloween last year. Oh boy, this is a lot of stuff in this one, guys. We have this candy dish, super cute. Um, my mother-in-law got that one for us. I like to keep all the original packaging just for easy storage so that um, it's in its styrofoam and it won't get, excuse me, and it won't get broken while in storage, I guess. My family has had this for a very long time. It is a music box. It's just Jingle Bell Rock. And uh, where's the button? So Santa's just dancing around in the jukebox. Very cute. So let's see, the date on this is 1990. So yeah, we've had it for a while. Oh, here's another Jim Shore. Oh, this one's the sweetest one. Him and Clarice. Like I said, I got all of my grandma's music boxes. So this is a precious moment one. It is evaporating its water or something throughout the years, but I still love it. It's very cute. Gotta love those homemade presents, guys. Another precious moments music box. So sweet. So this was my grandmother's also. I love Rudolph, so I got this guy at a Dillard's after Christmas sale many years ago. He's a music box. Obviously sings Rudolph. And you can't turn it off. Way to make me regret turning it on. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so he's cute. Oh, I loved this one. So, my brother got me this many years ago. Everything's many years ago, right? God, time flies. But I always, I always loved this. It's a music box. That music box is still going. This is one of my grandma's. It's a music box, so it's the Rejoice Angel, and she has the little banner that she was retired in 1988. So she is just really awesome. She's called Rejoice O Earth. Here's another one, music box. Isn't that the cutest? So sweet. So I love Rudolph, right? So I. I think it was my mom had this made for us from Personal Creation. So look, it has everybody's name on there. So it has Quentin, Emma, Mommy, Daddy, Grandma, Grandpa, Mima, Peepaw, my brother, and my husband's brother. Sorry, I'm looking at it backwards. And um, some of our cousins. Everybody's been good this year. My brother got me this. Um, long time ago <laughs> and it actually kind of matches or at least kind of this one that was my grandma's so I like to put them together uh, it is a music box and it's very sweet that he kind of held on the tradition to get me music boxes this one is Emma's because of course 
There's a beautiful horse and Santa. So she keeps this up in her room. It is also a music box. So she'll like to listen to that to go to sleep. New box. Bag. I don't know. This was a gift from my mother-in-law. She loves a snowman, but isn't he so cute? So he's just like a, mm, excuse me. He's just like a hanging sign. Here's the big plate that matches that other one. Here's another service plate baked with love. I think this is really cute. We put this on top of the door. The little reindeer are like falling down. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Here was little crafts. Oh, there's a little I fell off. Little crafts that we have done. Little Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Oh. Little snowman guys. Very cute. Here's a little ho ho ho. <laughs> this is just a candle holder for like a tea light. I have green and white of these too. Oh, and here they are. Little figure, cute. Oh yeah. This is a Christmas tree, obviously. This was my grandmother's, my, no, this was my great grandmother's and somehow I ended up with it, but I think it's really pretty. Here's a sad little snow globe. He's been losing his water too. Here's another snow globe, little snowman in there. So my mother-in-law got us that. If you can't tell, my mother-in-law loves Christmas. Oh, and it started singing. That's another little music box, a little toy shop. My mother-in-law got us that one also. Now this is a prized possession of mine. Let me show you. So my grandmother on my dad's side, she made this for all of us grandkids, um, just like the, um, the stocking, but it's an advent calendar. So in this pocket, there's all kinds of ornaments, all hand sewn. So there's like a little Santa Claus and you just stick them on every day. The kids get to stick one other ornament on. I've always loved this. So I've had this since I was a little kid and I haven't lost a single one of them. Can you believe it? I got this little plate. Isn't that cute? I love Rudolph. Show here. Lots of books. Whoa. Looks like we got a craft to do already. Nice. This is very, very special. Um, the night before Christmas. It's one of those recordable books and grandparents did it for Quinny and Emma and uh, grandfather's no longer with us, so it's really, really awesome to hear his voice. Emma has a little CD player, so I kept all my old CDs, so there's Rudolph. This was my great, great Aunt Ivy's. Um, he's just a little cute guy. That's the one thing I think I have of hers. These guys are cute. They're just little cookie jars. You see there's a jar in their body is a jar, so you can put cookies in there, or treats, or candies, or whatever. Little snowman, he's like a doorstop like heavy on the bottom. Deck everything. I got this last year. Where did I get it? I don't remember where I saw it. I think maybe at either at the grocery store or at Fry's or, or Fry's, Fry's is a grocery store or at Kohl's or something. I thought it was funny. Quentin painted this. Um, God, why don't I put years on stuff? Oh, I did. 2015. So he was seven when he painted that. Isn't that so cute? This is a Christmas countdown. So when I put batteries in, I will set this and it'll tell you how many days, minutes, seconds are left until Christmas. But this goes in my little Rudolph scene that I actually do. I have tons, tons of Rudolph action figure toys. Um, and I make a whole little scene out of it, so you will see that when we start decorating. But I just started collecting them, and you know how collections go. They just get bigger and bigger, right? 
So, like, here's Rudolph. His nose lights up. But yeah, they're little action figures. I mean, they're technically toys, but I just use them as decoration. But there's a ton of them in here. I'm not going to get it all out right now. So you will see that when we decorate. We do have like a ton of Christmas movies. The kids already busted those out. So those are already by the DVD player. But just a few more things. Look at this. I got this pillow last year at Kohl's, like with the Santa belt one. I think it's so pretty and it's so soft. And we got this Christmas blanket. It is so soft and snuggly. Mmm. I love it. So we just throw this over the couch. Got that at Kohl's also. These are our family stockings. So I had these made from, uh, what, is, what is that place called? Personal Creations online. So this one's Emma's. So the girls have red, mommy. And the boys have green. So here's Quinn's and Daddy's. All right, that is all of my Christmas stuff, guys, um, other than the tree stuff, but we will get to that when we get the tree. So I hope this gets you really excited for the season. It is just such a wonderful time. We get so excited, the kids get so excited. It's so much fun with the kids. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good year. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below, and I will see you next time.